Nobody in 2020 gives a shit about Overwatch 2. And if you're looking forward to the game, oh wait, just kidding, nobody's looking forward to this game. You probably, like me, saw the gameplay trailers around two years ago and thought, hey, this could be a pretty cool game. It's not so you looked up some gameplay footage that you realized, oh wait, this is the same game I bought in 2016. And then you realize there's no way you're giving Blizzard another $40 for the same product, so you left and never thought about Overwatch 2 again until you saw this video. And before this, you probably haven't heard anything since, so when I say nobody cares about Overwatch 2, I'm so serious. What's going on ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I'm Trailer. Welcome back to a brand new video. Guys, we are so close to 2k subscribers. Only about 80 off. We want to get it by the end of the year. Let's see if we can do it. But guys, today we're going to be talking about Overwatch. Now, as we all know, in 2020, Overwatch is a dead game. No one plays that dog shit anymore. It's not that fun. I mean, just look how low it is on Twitch. The Overwatch League in esports is pretty hyped for a minute, but then that shit died and it had no clout. The developers added the last hero, Echo, but haven't added anything since because they focused pretty much everything on Overwatch 2. But let's answer the question of our video, why don't people care about Overwatch 2? It's not like we don't know anything about the game, I mean they've dropped cinematics, I mean we've seen abilities and stuff. Streamers and other content creators actually got to play the game. And through all these months of silence, there has been no hype at all. And what's the sole reason for that? It's the same game. Don't get me wrong, I have fun on Overwatch a long time ago, but now that the game has been out for four years and the competitive content has kind of gotten boring, when I heard about Overwatch 2, I thought it was going to be like a refreshing experience. They're going to add some new stuff, some new maps. It was going to be great. But bro, I didn't know it was going to look the same exact way. I mean, bro, look at this HUD. They could have at least tried to make it look a little bit different. The graphics aren't even that much better. I mean, they are a little bit better, I would say, and they might be better when the game's fully out, but they're not better enough to make my mind blown. For those of you who don't know, essentially Overwatch 2 is going to be a primarily PvE-based game. It's going to involve fighting monsters through waves of enemies, progressing the plot of the actual Overwatch story missions, and leveling up your characters. There will still be a multi player in Overwatch 2, but guess what? That Overwatch 2 multiplayer can cross play with Overwatch 1. So in other words, there's no reason to buy the game at all unless you want to experience the co-op PvE gameplay, but it didn't have to be another game. There were already very similar PvE game modes in Overwatch 1. We got events every once in a while. I always thought they were cool, but I generally didn't find myself playing it more than once or twice, and I feel like a co-op campaign may not be the most popular thing. The Overwatch story is cool and everything, but it's not enough to sustain itself on making a whole entire new game i don't think enough people will actually buy it they announced some new game modes and some new abilities and everything but for the most part the only unique thing you're getting in overwatch 2 are simply hero missions they claim it's a highly replayable co-op but bro I don't think so. There's no way they were advertising Overwatch 1's maps in the Overwatch 2 gameplay trailer, bro. I want to see some new shit. And it might sound like I'm being toxic, but I want to care about this game. But they just haven't showed anything that makes anyone excited for any reason. Now, I know COVID hit and that might affect when they get their game out, but I don't think they should have showed gameplay and let people play so early. Blizzard put themselves in an awkward spot where they didn't have any content constantly coming out for Overwatch 1 and that they didn't have any hype building for Overwatch 2 since it's been so long since we've seen anything. In other words, the entire Overwatch name is falling because of their poor timing. It's been confirmed that we'll be seeing a new reveal of something, just more information on February 19th of 2021, which is only a couple months away. For it to matter though, and for it to build up hype, they can't just show us more gameplay. I mean, they have to have changed something in the base game that makes it better in almost every way. I mean, new maps aren't enough to cut it. New heroes aren't necessarily enough to cut it. I mean, they actually have to make the game feel a little bit different. They have to convince people that they actually want to spend their goddamn $40 and not just play the Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2 crossover. And the PvE better be replayable, otherwise the game will just end up being a waste for everybody. Now, some people say it would have been better if they made the two separate games multiplayer is different. I mean, that would truly make it a new game. And maybe only your cosmetics and everything, your achievements and shit transferred over. Because what it means is if you're an Overwatch 1 player and you don't want to buy Overwatch 2 and the multiplayer is crossplay like they say, you're going to be able to play new maps, you're going to be able to play the new modes just like you have Overwatch 2. Unless all the new maps are constricted to only Overwatch 2 multiplayer. But I don't think it'll be like that because that would probably split the community a lot. So there you have it guys. The main reason nobody's hyped for Overwatch is because it's nothing we haven't seen before. We're just going to be getting a game with a little bit more content and pretty much that's it. They've proven to us by showing us that you can cross play in both games which means the game's mechanics must be the same otherwise it'd be unbalanced. So all the characters are going to feel the same. All the characters are going to do the same thing that they would do in Overwatch 1. We've already played everything that's about 
about to come out. I just really hope everything I said in this video is more wrong than right, but it's looking like it's going to be right. But who knows? They could pull out some crazy stuff on February 19th and blow everyone away. We'll just have to wait and see. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think of Overwatch 2, if you're going to buy it or not. And without further ado, guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.